Good morning. Welcome to New Superfast with me, Harish Upadhyay. First up, the coffee cup controversy. While officials are promising investigation into the high-profile case involving ADGP Ravindranath, an embarrassing drama unfolded in front of the commissioner's office. Take a look at this exclusive footage, wherein a rather bizarre demand, Ravindranath was seen hounding police commissioner Raghavendra Rao Ratkar, quoting arrest. Well, this entire drama unfolded in front of the commissioner's office where you can see Ravindranath going behind Raghavendra Avratkar asking him to direct his investigating officer to arrest him but a miffed Raghavendra Avratkar is seen storming out of the commissioner's office in his car. In a late, in a late evening development yesterday, there was a high-level meeting called by the chief minister after the intervention from the governor who sought the chief minister to intervene and solve the matter before the public loses faith on the police department. Taking a cue from this, the, the sit bigger part of the chief minister who called for a meeting discussed the entire issue with the home minister KJ George, city in charge minister Ram Lingaradi and Krishna Bhairi Gauda and Dinesh Gundurao. Raghavendra Auratkar too was present at the meet. There were initial reports which suggested that the government was contemplating transferring Raghavendra Auratkar as well. But after the meeting, KJ George came out and clarified that there is no proposal in front of the state government to transfer KJ George. There were indications that Raghavendra Auratkar might be transferred, but KJ George, who came out of the meeting, stated that there is no proposal in front of the state government to transfer Raghavendra Auratkar. He went on to say that in a couple of days, a posting will be given to Ravindranath, who has been currently transferred without any posting. In the meanwhile, in the evening, almost simultaneously as the meeting was going on at CM's official residence, Krishna, Ra Ravindranath went ahead and filed a complaint at the Kabad Park police station accusing Raghavendra Auratkar of discriminating against him for being from the scheduled caste. Moving on, the 2014 academic year is set to begin while lakhs of students across the state are getting ready for another year of the circular man classes. Here are a bunch of young children who are seen working at a construction site in Bengaluru. This is a road in Kumar Swami layout ward of Banashankari where a Palike contractor has employed daily wages to work on the damaged road and construct drains. But is this the image that comes to your mind when we say daily wages? The 
ABS. Miners were seen hauling construction material across the site along with the adults. More than seven kids aged below 14 are spending their days at this construction site instead of getting ready for the academic year ahead. The complete ignorance on the part of the contractor has left the residents shocked. The daily wages are being paid about 200 rupees for a day's work. The residents allege that this is not the only ward which employs minors for daily wage work. When asked about the kids seen working at his site, here is what the contractor had to say. Sir, now we are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people who are going to have a lot of people. The contractor claims to be unaware of the kids working at the site, stating that he will look into the matter and take appropriate action. But the residents allege that they have called the contractor and engineers on numerous occasions, questioning them about the same. With the apparent confusion yet to be sorted, speculation of kids working at the BBMP's construction site will continue. Maltesh, News 9, Bengaluru. Moving on, the Karnataka Examination Authority is all set to conduct the CET counselling from, from today, assuring of a smooth process. It claims to be all prepared this time round. Here's a report. The much-awaited CET counselling process for this academic year will start shortly. The KEE that has already allotted ranks to majority of the students is currently allotting ranks to the students who have submitted their 12th class mark card recently. The counselling process will start in 13 places, including Bengaluru, where arrangements have been made to ensure that parents and students attending the counselling process do not face any difficulties. The document verification process for NCC quota and specially abled students will start followed on by the sports quota a day after. 45 counters have been set up at the KEA office in Maleshwaram. Meanwhile, the students taking seats under the Hyderabad Karnataka quota will have to submit relevant documents to the authority. Claiming Hyderabad Karnataka reservation, they have to come with the certificate issued only by the subdivisional magistrate, that is the assistant commissioner of that area. They have to uh, come with the original document on the day of verification. This is a must for those who are claiming Hyderabad Karnataka. And uh, secondly, all other candidates like SLC mascot is a must and PUC mascot is a must. Along with that, any other uh, reservation category certificate climbing like SC, ST and X serviceman quota and uh, 2A, 2B, that is also they have to come with the original documents. The KEA has also given out a few points that students and parents have to keep in mind before going through the counselling process. Students taking admission under different quotas have to produce all relevant documents during the verification process. The students have to collect a verification acknowledgement slip after the verification is over. The authority has asked students not to reveal their username and password. It has also instructed the students to be careful during the option entry process. They have also requested all the students to go through the brochure given by KEA. The KEA has also put out a checklist on its website which mentions about all the documents that need to be handed over during the verification. Meanwhile, the authority has decided to take all the documents from the aspirants at one go after the discrepancies that came to light last year. Practice round that is on second, we will have practice round of half an entry. Hmm. It will uh, it will start actually starts from 14th, 14th. But verification starts from the general second to 17th. So till the end of the satisfy entry option entry, it will continue. Well, the KEA is all set for a smooth counselling process. But after the recent confusion, are the students confident enough that tranquility will prevail at the counselling centres? Harish Upadhyay, News 9, Bengaluru.